Okay, I'm reloaded. Big Dad Pacino here. And this is show and tell number eight. Uh, I don't know. I really was kind of, kind of, I don't know, kind of delaying this because I, re- I don't, it's not that I want to do this this uh segment, but um, yeah, uh, I really I had a couple of hauls, but yesterday I was supposed to go to Walmart, and due to technical difficulties, I was unable to go. It's kind of smart move because last week I had a pretty good haul, also spent a lot of money, and I probably did the same thing this week. So sometimes it's good to kind of fall back because, like I said before, unlike a lot of these channels, I don't have big sponsors. So there's a couple of these channels, they get calls from even Hot Wheels or even Matchbox. And that's cool. And I respect their professionalism and all the work that goes into it. But, you know, there's levels to this diecast thing, and I'm happy just to get, sometimes, I'm happy to be where I am, but sometimes you get frustrated, but you have to fall back and look at the big picture, and I had to fall back and see, okay, I'm doing pretty good for a guy who pretty much fell into this hobby. I only picked, started picking up these cars because I liked diecasts. I always had a love for cars, especially American Muscle. And I was picking up gems like this before I even knew exactly what it was. I didn't even know this was a... uh, This was sitting on my desk before, a long time before I even realized what it was, was sitting on real riders and all that. I just picked it up because I liked the casting. And um, and now we at this, a model like this, which is highly sought after. Everybody's trying to get it, the car culture. And coming full circle. And now I'm getting to other bands like Green Light, uh, John, Johnny Lightning, uh, M2, you know, um, Learning about even more premium brands like Tonical, Limited Vintage, and uh, Kyoshi and stuff like that. No, I don't own any of the two later brands. But <sighs> anyway, I'm rambling. I'm just just kind of you know, and it's kind of put this in perspective because even with this, I own two of these, but. I'm missing two of them, Chevy Novas. And these are drag strip demons, of course. But last week, as I said, if you remember, I said I had these. And we'll get into that. These, the uh, Gulf Series and the Fast and the Furious. And I put these to the side for a reason. And we'll we'll get into it. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, Monday, I picked up a nine pack from uh, the Walgreens near near my job because I work on Sundays. We go in like an hour later, and we get paid a little more for coming in on Sundays. That's besides the point. You don't care about that. But anyway, Walgreens at one time was a great place to find diecasts. At least in my area. In my area, I don't know. It seems like they're kind of snobbish. As more, the closer you get to D.C. And maybe I should start venturing out into Maryland. Because uh, I live in Virginia. So, northern Virginia. And um, the stores there, they do okay at times. Terrible with main lines. Main lines, we're way behind. Premium series, we seem to get those pretty much on time. Well, anyway, the nine packs, I really don't like them because I feel you paying too much and sometimes cars repeat. 
I'm kind of mad at this one because I was looking for the green monster too, which is in this pack, but I picked it up because of that blue Porsche. And mainly what caught my eye was that white Acura. I think I had that white and blue uh, truck that's right there. I don't think I had a CRX. I could care less really about that green charger because it doesn't have no details. And I think I had this moon eyes. So, and I don't care about fantasy castings. I don't care about this pawn thing either. So that'll probably go to my nephew. So sometimes I'm crazy about this Acura casting. And I know the GT version is is now a cult is coming in the new car culture. Circuit relate related, like circuit racer type thing. But anyway. That's what I picked up my pack on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, which was the home. No, my fat. I said this is Sunday, not Monday. I'm sorry, not Tuesday, but Monday, which was the holiday. Uh, I was again working. But I decided to go out and see what Target got. Because usually my Target near my house, well, it's on my way home from work. Usually has restocks on Monday. So I checked out to see what they had. The same thing they had last week. I was hoping to get more of the Decades cars because they got some. The 60s is the Mustang. The 70s, I, I forgot what it is. I think the 80s, excuse me, the 80s is a, uh, I think it's a Monte Carlo. And this is the 2000s. I don't know what the 90s is. But it's a pretty cool bone shaker. It looks like they're more like the original. And I collect the bone shaker casting, even though I don't like most fantasy castings. I collect the bone shaker because it looks like a 32 Ford. Basically, that's what it, I think it's based on. So, yeah, I got this bone shaker. Oh, excuse me. Uh, also got the Chevelle wagon, which I have one of them. I don't like the Daredevil one with the multicolored wheels. It looks very cartoonish. And even though I really don't like this casting because no details and i guess i'm becoming a snob of that if i want something like this i usually now would prefer a green light but it was a dollar car so i picked it up now to the stars of the what it's all about now yeah first Let's go with the golf series. Um, as you can see, I got the other four cars, the the VW uh, Golf. Funny, it's a VW Golf, and this is Golf, but uh, the VW and the uh, the Laurel, the Mustang, and the Ford GT. And I only was missing this one. Which I, I had a chance to get this before and I turned it down. Since I had the other four cars, I decided to get this one. And this car was present the first time I bought it. But I don't know why I didn't get it. So I decided to get it to complete the set. And the same last week, I showed off the... The black R32 and the S15 on the Lisa. I had this on a previous, I think probably like a month ago, a month ago or three weeks ago, something like that. I had picked up the RS because the other ones had been taken that time I went. But lo and behold, sometimes you got to be patient. This was hiding on the pegs, actually behind like some like some uh other 
I'm not sure if it was behind Street Fighter or something. I have two of those cars. But it was hiding behind something I didn't want. But I looked at the pegs anyway. And there it was. Because I saw the Lamborghini. I had two chances to get the Lamborghini. And I turned it down because I didn't like it. This time I decided to get it. Just to complete the pack. You know, um, and this is a major accomplishment in itself because I completed two premium sets. <clears throat> and I know on a national level, a lot of people are searching for these cars, especially this one. This one, Fast and Furious, and of course this one. So I'm happy to have them in my collection. And I think even though I missed the Walmart uh, trip yesterday, I think I did very good. So, I mean, I can't complain. And the golf completes. The golf, that last week with the golf was incredible, you know. Yeah, I don't even like this casting, but I, I, I decided just to complete the set. And that's basically my show and tell number eight. My next... I, I, I had a pretty good year, man. I had to look at some of the cars I have, man. I, I mean, I had the Nova early. The Golf Nova. I got two variations of the Golf Porsche 917, which people are going crazy over. Uh, I even got these trucks. On the truck series, I think I'm missing one Silverado, which is uncanny because I had a chance to get it, but I decided not to. Excuse my cable wire. Yeah, that that's a regular treasure hunt. I, I, some fantasy casting. I got this as an extra. Oh. That's. From a purchase long ago. I mean, I can't complain. I got I got some cars, man. And this is just a it's not even a third of my collection. This is just a little bit. And um even and I'm kinda mad because in my area, the Mattel, I don't know what's going on. Like a lot of people going crazy over this. I had this for for I think about over a month. And it, it goes in spurts at my Target location. And I probably have two other Target locations that I can go to. They're kind of further out. But I might start doing that in order to get the variety. You got to do that because you depend on one store. And like I said, there's still there are thieves and hoarders and all types of stuff going on. And you don't know the guys who work receiving if they're fans, uh, I mean, uh, collectors, and are they hoarding cars? Are they telling their buddies? Or are they selling them on uh, eBay or Amazon? You never know. So, it's levels to this. Like I said before, and uh, and it's funny that uh, this has evolved from basically just something I did to amuse myself, you know. We all collect this. I'm figure a dollar. You know what I'm saying? A dollar. Then I'm going, moving up to like maybe like three or four dollars a car. Now I'm up seven dollars a car. And um, sometimes online I pay a little bit more. And uh, I guess the, like I said, there's levels to this. And now you have people 
who are spending $20 a car and more for certain models. There's certain, and I'm saying this, I'm ranting, but it's only a certain level I will go to with this hobby, you know, uh, like I said, no sponsors, but I do it for the love of the diecast. I don't do it for bragging rights. I don't do it for uh to make money on aftermarket because I ain't selling none of my cars so far. Now I probably need to get into one of these groups and probably look for one locally and do some trading of some models of my main lines that I don't want anymore. And probably do that. But most of my cars, I'm not selling. In fact, I need to look for more storage space. So what I'm going to do, and I did it this week, is fall back a little bit. And uh, pretty much just, you know, I think one of the things I need to go is a green-white Cadillac. And that will probably be green light or either Auto World. Auto World actually makes the better Cadillac. So I think I'll probably try to get an Auto World in my collection. Other than that, I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good just to be a, a little uh, amateur collector. So, um, yeah, that's show and tell number eight. Next one, we're going to try to give you a showcase. I've been kind of falling off with the showcase uh, episodes. I think next one, we're going to do a comparing. We're going to compare like castings. And this time, we're going to use the same company and and just the same casting with different deco, probably civilian versus civil service or something like that. But um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm not trying to make this too long, so it's it's under 20 minutes, so uh, short but sweet. And uh, for the folks out there, for the small town collectors, man, don't lose hope. I know it's, it's rough out there on the pegs. I'm out there with you. Um, and sometimes don't look at these channels and be dismayed. Oh, oh man, I wish I had that. Remember, a lot of these channels, are perf these these guys, they they got. They got uh, sponsors, and they have a car sent to them for free. It's a different story out there on the pegs, man. You got to know your store, do your research, and they're a good source. I use channels like that as a source because they always had a cars first. Many times, months before they actually come in the stores. So do your research and on your pegs. Show a little love for the diecast. The Big Dapacino, I'm um, out. Peace.